And then finally, the last question of the test, we have to construct a graph that has the following properties. f of 4 has to equal negative 2, f of negative 3 has to equal positive 1. There are two x-intercepts at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5. There's a vertical asymptote at x is equal to 3. This uh, graph is going to be decreasing when x is between negative uh, infinity and 3. Notice how this is in set notation. And then it's increasing when x is between 3 and positive infinity. This is an interval notation. And it has n behaviors as x approaches negative infinity, y approaches 4. And then as x approaches positive infinity, y approaches 4 as well. Okay, so um, a lot to take in for this graph. Um, let's try our best though. Now whenever I get a question like this, what I like to do personally is I like to label just the points on the graph. So what points are we given? Well, we're given f of 4 equals negative 2, and that's the same point as 4 and negative 2. And then we're given f of negative 3 equals 1. That's the same as negative 3 and 1. So let's label those. So negative 3 and 1 would be where? That would be like here, let's say. And then 4 and negative 2, 4 and negative 2 would be like here. Let's say, so this is 4 and negative 2, and then this is uh, negative 3 and positive 1. Okay, so we labeled these. We're done with that. Next one, 2x-intercepts at x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 5. So we're going to have a point here, and we're going to have a point here. So this is going to be at 0, this is going to be at 5, done with those. And notice how there's no other points to label. So let's just move on. So next one, vertical asymptote at x is equal to 3. Well, that's pretty easy to label. So at an x value of 3, there's going to be a vertical asymptote. So we could put that dotted line like that. So we're done with that, and now all we have to take care of is the increasing and decreasing intervals and then the end behaviors. In my opinion, I think the end behaviors in this case are easier to deal with because notice how as x is approaching negative infinity, y is approaching 4, and then as x is approaching positive infinity, y is approaching 4 as well. And what that means is whenever you have n behaviors where y is approaching a certain value where it's not infinity or negative infinity, that means there's going to be a horizontal asymptote there. So we know for this graph, there's going to be a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 4 from both sides as x approaches positive infinity and as x approaches negative infinity. So we can draw that. Let's draw that horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 4. And now this is starting to look a lot better, right? So let's, uh, we're done with the end behaviors. Let's uh, go to these two characteristics. So the function is decreasing when x is between negative infinity and positive 3. Well, negative infinity is down here, and then positive 3 is over here, and that's a vertical asymptote. So it's not going to hit that x value of 3, but we know the function is decreasing, meaning that when we read from left to right, the y values are going down. And to match that characteristic, we could just draw a function like that. So that should be going through the origin there. Right? So that matches this characteristic. Notice how the y values are decreasing when we read from left to right. It's still, let me erase this portion here, um, it's still going towards that y value of 4, that horizontal asymptote, as that x approaches negative infinity. And then it's also going through the point negative 3 and 1 and 0 and 0, right? negative 3 and 1, and then that uh, x-intercept of 0. And then it's going towards 3, but it's never going to hit it. Right? So that portion of the graph is done. 
So we're done with that. And now we have to make sure the function is increasing when x is between 3 and positive infinity, meaning that when we read from left to right, the y values are going up. Well, it's easy to see that for the y values to be going up from 3 to positive infinity, and then taking to account this vertical asymptote, this horizontal asymptote on these two points, the way the function would look is something like that. Right, so as we read from left to right, the function is increasing, and that's from an x value of 3 all the way to positive infinity. Function is always increasing. It's going through the points 4 and negative 2, and that x-intercept of 5, and it's going towards that y value of 4, that horizontal asymptote, and it's never going to hit it. It's just going to keep getting closer and closer and closer to it. So it's going to keep increasing and keep getting closer to that y value of 4 as x goes towards positive infinity, but it's never going to hit it. And that's it. That's the graph. So not that bad. When you first get this question, it seems overwhelming, but start plotting stuff where it doesn't affect the shape of the graph, right? So things like points, right? Those are going to be on the graph for sure. Things like vertical or horizontal asymptotes, right? Draw dotted lines for those. And then with the end behaviors, look for if y values are approaching certain values. Because if they're approaching certain values, that means there's going to be a horizontal asymptote there. So it was approaching 4. We know it's a horizontal asymptote on both sides. And then once we had everything labeled, we can kind of see what this graph is going to look like, making sure that um, it follows the decreasing and increasing intervals that we were given. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.